day everyone, welcome back to another video of Let Let Pastor. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Shane and I'm going to be building a Mark 1 car. I'm actually in the process of building a Mark 1 car. But for all the viewers that have been subscribed to the channel, welcome back. Today we're going to work on the yellow thing. And as you guys can currently see, I've got the car on check stands. It's raining extremely loud because we have these um, wild sheet um, wild roofs all around, way around, all this way around. So it is extremely loud here at the back. And it is extremely cold as well because our fireplace is giving some problems. So we definitely need to put a new one of that. But another video like this, I have no idea what we can do today. I just got the car up all the way in the air because I thought that I would like to finish the loom or the harness in the interior of the car and the one current problem I have at the moment is getting the fuel pump wires to the fuel pump location so I need to sort out that, that's the reason why I got the car on check stands another reason why I got the car on check stands is because I would like to install the branch and exhaust as well I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to do that today but if I do feel like it I think I might just give it a go because I think that's really a must at the moment because well there's no exhaust in the car and we are definitely prepping the car to get it started and what I'm going to do to get the car started as you guys can see we have the entire harness coming out in the passenger side or on the passenger side and what I need to do I need to connect all the components to the chassis of the car to get it started because at the moment well we can't do the white up without knowing that the engine is healthy engine starts everything is fine so that's actually the key objective for us but before we can actually do that we really need to get the branch and exhaust on the spot I think I'm gonna start by getting in the wires here at the back I actually think I got the rest of the loom well into where it's supposed to be specifically the front just underneath the dashboard this wire is running right here as you guys can see one is actually for the float of the tank to give an indication to the cluster of the fuel um, that's left in the car and this wire right here is supposedly um, to run to the fuel pump so what I need to do at the moment I literally need to get this wire in that hole right there and get it to run all the way below the fuel tank which is going to be quite a problem because it's quite the effort to get that wire in because I remember getting it in the previous time and even getting it out it was definitely a problem we have a long way to go but I think we actually make some progress today I think we can actually get the door part on as well because I don't think there's anything left to do well in this section of each door and we definitely need to get the doors lined up because the doors all the doors are not lined up at all as you guys can see right there that's an image closed. After we fitted the rubbers, we really need to realign every single door on the car. And I know a few of you guys have commented about the bootlet. The bootlet also needs to be realigned. And I really hope you guys can actually hear me because it is raining quite heavily here <laughs> at the back. Let's just get started on the car. Day 2 of today's video, this is the next day and 
Yes, I didn't actually end of the video quite as yet. It is raining extremely, extremely loudly here at the back. But I would like to give you guys an update of what actually what happened yesterday. So we actually managed to get in the carpet and I've heard a lot of comments regarding you guys saying that um, the sound deepening. I am going to do sound deepening in the future but at the moment the goal is literally just to get the loom in the carpet, in the seating, getting the engine in so that I can make sure the engine is healthy, get everything working properly I guess and getting the car um, wired up for the dictator management. Or the second option is obviously running the Polo Cup ECU and running a chip on that but I think it will be more worth it running a dictator. What do you guys think? Definitely comment down below what you guys think would be the best option. I really think that many of you guys are going to comment dictator because that's obviously the go-to at the moment. But we got this material in is actually quite dirty. We didn't vacuum it as yet. But I managed to get this pipe in right here but you guys can see right there we actually messed up the pipe a little bit with the heat gun just to get this pipe in in this section right here because this bracket actually is actually in the way so to get this pipe in for this vent right here I didn't really want to run this pipe I think I might just cut it out anyway because I will be running a um, well oil pressure gauge right here so I think I will be doing that in the future but I got it connected up that side I still need to actually fit in because the pipe is right there I might do that right now I might get the ECU plugged in as well and maybe just get the rest of the dashboard in as well and maybe we can just get the dual cards on as well because I think that would actually make the interior so much more complete so the rest of the dashboard, the dual cards and then I think we can actually call it a night here are the two naughty naughty dogs but I would just like to update you guys on this is that there is a price list in the description box below of the caddy because we are currently stripping the caddy for space. I will be selling all the valuable items of the caddy and I will be selling the caddy as a rolling chassis when it's like completely stripped. I'm not going to completely strip the caddy. You guys will see everything in the description box below and guys sadly the city sport rims are for sale. Prices are in the description box below. Here we have the FZ gearbox. We have a real velocity seat right there. Here we have the starter as well, but I don't think I will be signing the starter duty. I'm not entirely sure if that starter right there is well, working 100%. FZ gearbox. Prices are in the description box below. Radiator, fan. Induction box, I think I might just keep this, but if I get a good offer, might sell it as well. Yeah, guys, everything is in the description box below, and obviously we have the bronze right here as well. This is a 4 into 2 into 1 bronze, with the knuckle included, with the bolts, everything. All you need to do is get a gasket, put it on, get it welded on, and then you will be sorted. All the prices are in the description box down below.
thank you to each and every one of you guys for making it till the end of today's video if you guys did don't forget to smash that like button comment down below what you guys think of the progress of the yellow thing because we just got the complete dashboard installed there obviously are a few components that we did not install but this far we have a complete dashboard in the car it's not in like 100% it's like 80% in so um, I do like to give you guys like a feel of how the car um, is going to look like once it's actually done so unfortunately I actually sold the plus the steering wheel due to um, the steering wheel actually didn't like um, well I think I don't think the horn worked properly on this car for some reason so I think I will be buying an airbag steering wheel for this car if any of you guys maybe have an airbag steering wheel for a Mark 1 or even like a Polo 6 steering wheel I would really appreciate it because I'm thinking of doing the upgrade for this car we will eventually get um, the air suspension sorted and all the other stuff sorted as well but I feel for the progress we have made tonight or in today's video I think it really has been enough I really hope you guys are enjoying the content and if you guys are don't forget to comment so down below I'll see you guys in the next one Peace.